being a parent, being a mother specifically, you are gonna come to a lot of struggles, a lot of questions, a lot of am I making the right decision for my family, for myself, and for my child. The bottom line is, you are. So my plans um, before I gave birth was to breastfeed. It was in my culture, in the Caribbean, that we breastfeed our children. I was a resident at the time when I gave birth, and I know that the time constraints and working possibly would hinder that, but my intentions were to breastfeed um, as best as I could. When it came to me, I, I realized that, you know what, breastfeeding is really, really hard, and I'm gonna set the bar very low for myself. So my two main goals were attempt to nurse and see if I produced any milk. My vision was always to bottle feed. I was bottle fed, my nieces and nephews were bottle fed, my husband was bottle fed. That was my plan all along. I kind of just assumed breastfeeding would work, but I hadn't really done a ton of research. Um, it was just kind of like, all right, we're gonna wing it, we're gonna see what happens, and just, you know, hope for the best as everything, as when he comes out. From the beginning, didn't have enough supply. And I would just remember sitting on the couch, he was sitting in the boppy in front of me, I was feeding him and I was pumping at the same time. It took a few weeks, but I figured out how to do that. But it definitely wasn't the plan. And I was always surprised at how much harder it was than it felt like it should have been. As a resident, again, working those long hours in the operating room those long hours, not being able to pump when I needed to, um, I was not able to breastfeed as long as I wanted to with my first child, so I ended up um, breastfeeding for only six weeks. With my second daughter, I was able to breastfeed a lot longer and more successfully um, pumping when I needed to and breastfeeding with her when I needed to. So what ended up happening was that Yusuf decided to come a little bit early. So he was premature by six weeks and had to go to the NICU. So of my two goals, nurse the baby, I had to like nix one of them kind of right off the bat. And so my next goal was to start pumping. By the time he was old enough to start trying to nurse, I realized that maybe nursing was not gonna be the right way for us to go. I had gotten into a groove with exclusive pumping, which until I started doing it, didn't know it was a thing. Um, and there's like a whole community behind exclusive pumping. Um, so we decided to do that and, you know, he's doing really great. I don't have any regrets on the, how I fed my children. I felt that the initial weeks that I was able to bond with them with breastfeeding, as limited as it was with my first child, um, I felt that that time was well spent. Um, I think my children are overall healthy and they did very well and they did obtain a lot of the benefits of breastfeeding. When I initially found out that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to nurse the way I had planned, um, it was definitely a, an emotional journey for me. I didn't really think it would be, you know, because on the one hand I had like my doctor self saying to me, hey, this is totally normal and like, what are you upset about? You're still producing breast milk. So many women have such a struggle to even produce breast milk. Um, and I didn't realize how much I wanted to do that. Ultimately, I had to like, you know, quote unquote, forgive myself for not, not doing it, right? Not being able to nurse. Um, and it sounds silly, like why would you need to forgive yourself? Your baby is healthy, thank God. You're producing breast milk, thank God, right? But like, you know, you feel like it's supposed to be one way and you wanna try to do it one way. And I didn't necessarily have the choice. We finally decided to stop pumping, stop giving him breast milk and just move to to formula. It took like a minute, like probably a couple days, and then I was like, we should have done this so much earlier. If I had just formula fed him in, like two or three weeks in, our lives, you know, would have just been a lot easier. Um, I could have slept a little bit longer because my wife could have fed him in the middle of the night, but 
it just instantly, there was like a weight lifted off of my shoulder. So once that decision was made, once we just went with it, you know, there was no turning back. It was just, thank God we did this. I have no regrets on the decisions I've made as far as feeding both of my children. Not for one day, one second do I think, oh, I wish I would have breastfed them. I wish I would have tried it. Never once. And they are happy, healthy, growing, quite quickly, children who are just, you wouldn't know the difference. You know, at this age, you don't know which children were bottle fed, which children were breastfed, because it doesn't make a difference as long as they get fed. My best advice that I could give to new moms is just that uh, it's okay to have lots of plans, but it's um, also part of your plan should be readjust and know that like re being able to readjust is probably going to be the number one thing in your plan that you end up going to. You know, at this point, I have still have like friends and family who are pregnant or getting pregnant and, you know, obviously a lot of people are like, well, what, what do I need? What are the must-haves? What should be on my registry? And I'm always like, bottles and formula. <laughs> Have it, have it at home when that you bring that baby home from the hospital because just in case, you should always have it on hand. So for moms that are struggling to breastfeed and are on the verge of giving up on breastfeeding or decided not to breastfeed, the decision is a joint decision, not only for you, but it's also for your baby. And a happy mom and a happy, it makes a happy life, not just a happy wife. A happy mom does make a happy life. And if you are struggling and you're getting frustrated, that will manifest itself in how you deal with your baby. And so if you find it challenging, then stop. Say it's okay. Try again another day. Get the support you need. Or if you decide not to do it, it's okay also. 